If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know about my brand new merch store. I'm so excited. The link will be in the description. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to this exciting video. So today we're going to be talking about this new game that's going to be coming out called Paralives. So this is an indie life simulation game and I'm so excited about it. So you guys may have seen it on Twitter, but if you haven't, definitely check out their Twitter. I'm going to go over that too and everything they've like posted about this game. So um, basically I found out about this the other day. It's not out yet, but it will be released. I don't know when. There's not like a release date yet but um you know there is updates being made on the game and stuff like that and of course when there is a release date we'll know about it so i'm so excited because this is like i don't know i've always wanted another type of sims game but like not the sims you know what i mean i have always just wanted like two simulation games to play and there's other simulation games out there but they're just not what i'm looking for you know and this finally seems like something that i'm gonna be so into oh my gosh so as you guys can see here look at this little cute house and the graphics are very like cartoon like in the best way possible um so basically it says you live and then you die but at least you do it in a nice house paralives is an upcoming um life simulation indie game build your dream house create some characters and manage their lives the way you want the game is currently in development and it will be released on steam for mac or PC and Mac. So, um, I have seen the creator say that it could come out on console in the future, but first it'll be released on Steam. So, for PC and Mac. So, that's pretty cool. I think Steam is a good place to release this game. Um, so, it says cr created by and for the community. You can join their Discord server, and this is very cool. So, you can suggest so many different things. Um, whatever you want, you can suggest there. I've been in the, di I'm in the dis Discord server now. Can I speak? I'm too excited. <laughs> um, I'm in the Discord server now and I've been like leaving some suggestions. Jonathan has been too. He's been um, leaving some suggestions and everyone in there has been super nice and there's a lot of simmers in there actually, which is really cool. So yeah. And by the way, can we take a minute and look at this? This is stuff that's going to be in the game, you guys. Like this is a photo from the game what? <laughs> look at these for the pool. I used to love these things when I was little. And then there's a slide. And look at how the slide platform is. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. The pool shape looks awesome. Look at the stairs going down. Look at this house in the back. I'm so excited. Okay. So this got me really excited. First of all, um, hello, this is going to be in like the base game. What? This is amazing. So first of all, I just want to say, you guys, I was worried about this being fake at first, um, but I did some like researching. I even talked to the creator. I messaged them. They messaged me back pretty quickly. Um, so I feel a lot better and have much more high hopes for this because when I first saw it, it's like, is this fake? Is this real? Because there was actually a game called Project Vi that was fake quite some time ago. However, this has shown way more already. It seems way more legit. There's an official website, which we're on right now. Um, you know, the creator is being like a lot more active. They're answering so many people's questions. The Discord server, there's some, I don't know. I just feel like there's being way too much work put into it. There's some videos showing some building, which I'll show you guys. And yeah, um, I even like straight up asked the creator, is this game 100% real? Da -da 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 -da. And I talked to them a little bit and it really seems like this is happening and I'm very excited. So I see no red flags. So that's a really good thing. So it says dreaming of building your perfect house, but need the right tools. No problem. Paralives comes with, uh, uh, by the way, I think it's Paralives because I saw the creator say that the name was inspired by like para parallel lives. So then I assume it would be para lives. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right though. Um, so yeah, comes with innovative tools to create gridless constructions. No grid, you guys, you're free to build however you want. Curved walls, resizable objects, split level floors, custom shape stairs, full color slash texture customization, and much, much more. Willing to immerse yourself in a parallel, li yeah, see parallel lives and achieve your wildest dreams. We've got your back. Para lives offers a rich open world filled with possibilities. Focus on your career, love life, friends, family, children, or the town's community and well-being. And then it says, looking to explore a town filled with opportunities and venues? Put on your best outfit, call some friends, and use your bike or car to meet them at the park, restaurant, beach shop, mountain, or anywhere really. So first of all, we're getting bikes and cars 
it's been confirmed that is coming with base game you guys the creator has said i just hit my desk <laughs> the creator has said that it's going to be a one-time purchase with free updates and there perhaps could be paid dlc in the future like downloadable content that's what dlc stands for um but not necessarily there's gonna be i don't know he's saying there's gonna be free updates that's really cool <laughs> i'm happy about that so can we just like look at these like look isn't this adorable i'm actually very happy with this cartoony look because um it's actually been confirmed that the world is going to be open it's going to be open world and it just seems like it's going to have a lot in it for release date like it's gonna it seems like it's gonna have a lot more than the sims 4 base game for example so I like that the graphics are like this because it's very cute and it's very, it's very likable, but then the graphics aren't overboard. So probably if you have a computer that is maybe not meant for gaming, it may run better or you play on a laptop that doesn't have the highest specs, maybe whatever the case may be, you should be able to play this without lag and experience like the gameplay that we all want. So remember you guys, all of us are craving like really in-depth gameplay that where we can connect with our characters and have so much fun. And this seems like it's going to do that for us. And instead of really realistic graphics, which can make the game slow and lag, and just not give it then we won't have as much gameplay because it's focusing on graphics you know it's just this is a better route I feel like for this game and I'm very excited and also it's an indie game so it actually makes a lot of sense so it says when is Paralives coming out so if you go to facts you can see this the game is still in early stage of development expect more info on this as it progresses so keep your eye out you guys then it says is this an online game this is a single player game and it does not require an internet connection to play so I think this is good too because it just gives us that simulation feel that we're used to like if you like the sims but you want something new then i feel like it's best that it's not online and especially for those who maybe have not the best internet connection this is great because online games can really lag so then it says where can i get the game when it releases it's going to be on steam like i mentioned um will it be available for consoles there are no plans for console versions at the moment but he has said that it could come in the future so this is a really exciting part it says um does the game support mods and custom content yes players will be able to share their creations through through the steam workshop so on steam there's a steam workshop we're gonna be able to make cc mods oh i'm so excited about that um and then it says how much will paralyze cost there's no price to there's no price announced yet um it's gonna be a one-time purchase product not a free-to-play game so it says what are the minimal requirements for my computer to run this game we're working on optimizing the game to make it run on laptops and lower end computers stay tuned specifications will become available as we get closer to the alpha version of the game and then it says how can i contribute to the project thank you for your involvement if you would like to support the development of the game you can check back alex's or you can what <laughs> you can back alex's patreon okay um and get access to exclusive content so there is a patreon um i'll show you guys that after and then it says in the future we might be looking for talented and experimented people to join the development team you can contact contact us here if you would like to get in touch so um and then you get here it just says you can leave ideas for the game uh, on the discord server so you guys can just join if you click this you'll be able to just join if you have discord of course and yeah you guys so now let's head over to the twitter page so here's the twitter page um and basically there's some videos but i'm gonna show you guys that on the youtube channel to see it more clearly oh my god though amazing oh my god okay so um and then there's this picture that we saw so there's not that much here but you guys if you go into tweets and replies there is a couple more things and then we're gonna head over to the actual creator's twitter which is this for this person right here and then they, they've answered a lot of things so so basically, they said here, players will be able to add new objects and textures and share them through the Steam Workshop. So that's really cool. Um, basically, a lot of this is answering questions that we already knew. I'm going to head over to the other Twitter because there's so much more and I'm so excited. Okay, so here is the creator of the game. This is their Twitter and you guys, there's a dog. Yes, there's going to be pets in the base game and guys... Oh my god, I, I, I just want to tell you guys everything right now, but I want to go over the questions. I read so much stuff and I'm so pumped. If I can't find it, I'll just tell you guys. But, so no release date yet or estimated time. Um, that'll be announced when they get closer to the alpha version. Um, characters will be revealed soon. Stay tuned. Um, 
So then they're just talking about some improvement, some improvements to be done. So they're, you know, they're updating us on that stuff. So then someone asked if there'll be um, cheats like for money and they said, of course, cheats are a must. Yay. So there is going to be like money cheats and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I'm glad they're going to, there's going to be that. Okay. So this is really cool too. Basically someone said you stated there'll be cars and bikes and even boats. Are you planning on adding, adding a public transport kind of system like buses or something? Um, so basically they said public transport would be awesome. I would love to be able to fit them at some point in development. I can't confirm the right now though. Yes. Boats are just like houses so you can live in them and water is swimmable. So with the base game, water is already going to be swimmable. You don't have to wait. And boats are going to be just like houses. So you can live in a boat, which I think is like that big boat that you guys saw on the website. What? <laughs> that is so cool. All right, you guys. So here's a little action of the doggo. See, these graphics are going to allow for them to add a lot more gameplay and stuff like that. And you know what I mean? Um, I think this route is just so much better. Um, I'm glad they're doing it like this and it's very cutesy. It looks like a little cartoon, you know? I like it. Um, when it comes to The Sims, a lot of us definitely want to see a more realistic route for like Sims 5, but this game's totally different. I feel like it's an indie game and these vibes fit it so perfectly. So someone said, will cats be included? Yes, cats are on the roadmap. Awesome. So there will be cats, dogs. Also, you guys, this is a solo project right now, but the, he's working on building a team. Like he's doing this all by himself. That's incredible. That is seriously incredible. So, um, we won't get this in the main feature, but they would love to have a farming update after release. Oh my goodness, this just sounds so amazing already. Like, oh, you guys, this is going to be so cool. And there will be a character creator, so that's really neat. They're also planning on making some magic stuff, but most likely after the initial release in updates. So that's really good to know as well. Just kind of like getting an idea of like future things that we will see. So you guys, I don't know where the actual tweet is that confirms there is a color wheel, um, but the, he does kind of talk about it here. It says, as you can see on the little toolbar in the video, you can select a specific color for different parts of an object. So there is a color wheel. He said that's somewhere else too. So someone actually said, um, Will we be able to travel to different towns like The Sims 4 or will it work more like The Sims 3 or something different from both? This is still to be determined by hoping to have multiple open world towns that you can travel between. So the world is open world and there may be multiple worlds. So I'm hoping maybe, first of all, I'm not worried about lag with this because I feel like just with the graphics and everything, I think it'll be okay. Um, and like, you know, it just all depends how a game's created. You know what I mean? It may be totally fine. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I, I feel like The Sims 3 is like totally different with the graphics and all of that. Like, you know, it makes sense why that lags. Whereas this, I feel like could run really smoothly. Um, so it would be really cool if there was like multiple worlds we could travel seamlessly to. Because in The Sims 3, it was open world, but you were just stuck in that one world. You can have kids in this game as well. So that's amazing. All right, you guys. So this is something I was very excited for. So this person asked a bunch of questions. Basically, they just said, yes, there will be aging. So babies and toddlers included. There will be baby, babies and toddlers. Let's hope the babies have more things to them and everything. Horses, dogs, and cats will be available at release or in a free update. Other pets are still to be decided. So even if we don't get horses, dogs, and cats right away, they're going to be in a free update, completely free. So that's really cool. And you guys, horses. Those of you guys who are dying for horses, here you go. Play this game and you'll have your horses. Switch between your... Whatever Sims you love the most, Sims 1, 2, 3, 4, and this game, you have two different, you'll have two different simulations game, simulation games, you know, there will be certain things you love with this game, certain what things you love with the other game. That's what I love about this. I love having options, having more than one simulation game to play. You know what I mean? All right, you guys. So I'm at the end of the Twitter and basically I'm going to show you guys these videos on the YouTube page, but, um, this Twitter was started on June 28th. So already there's been so many things answered. So let's just like imagine by like August, September, how much we're going to know about this. I'm so excited to find out more. So yeah, this, the, this Twitter like just started recently. I'm so, so excited. So let's go ahead and head over to the YouTube page.
Okay, so here is the YouTube channel here. Um, definitely go subscribe to it because there's probably going to be a lot more videos and there'll probably be like an announcement trailer maybe and everything. That would be really cool. So um, I watched both of these and they look amazing. So these are just quick little videos, but watch you guys. Watch how they just resize this window. What? You can resize everything, which I, and by the way, look at the pool in the back. It's not underground. So there's different pool options. Look at the curtains. Look how he just drags it. Building. Hey, it's Dally. <laughs> Building looks incredible in this game. I'm very excited. Okay, now you guys have to see this. First of all, this is adorable. Look at the car. This is just adorable though. It's just so cute looking. Look at the water. Ah, it's so cute. So here, and there's a tire swing, you guys. Do you see that? Um, Look, look how they just build the curved wall. Excuse me? What? Didn't even think I'd ever see the day. Look at this. And it's just a different level just like that. Like, it seems so easy. Like, I feel like so many people that can't build in Sims games will be able to build in this. Look how that wall is just like however you want it to be. Excuse me? It's like so free. You have so much freedom. All right. So, so last but not least, you guys, this is the Patreon. So I actually do plan to become a Patreon because I really want to support this game. Like, I really, really want to support this. I want to see this happen. And it's really cool because he has an option to just do $1, which is called Toddler, and then Elder for $5. So even if you just have $1 a month, that would be supporting it and that would be just amazing. Um, because he's doing this all by himself right now. And so far he has 90 Patreons. So yeah, this is so exciting. And of course, look at this. There was actually something new here that we didn't see yet. There was a little part in the video, but look, it says, oh, look, look how he's pulling the wall like that. Isn't that so cool? Look at that. That's so neat. Like you just have complete freedom. You can do whatever you want. So there's advanced build tools and open world neighborhood, fully customizable buildings and furniture, complex, um, character progression and a... AI, um, cars, bikes, and boats, pets, seasons, and a lot of fun. So if that sounds exciting for you and that's all coming with base game, then definitely keep your eye out for this game, you guys. Obviously it's in the early stages, so don't expect it to come out anytime soon. Don't even expect it to come out this year, but hopefully next year it's out. I don't know. And hopefully we'll just see more and more. And maybe if he gets more people helping him work on this game. It'll come even sooner. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, let's just look at one of the photos. This very much excites me and this very much excites me, but so does even just this because this is so cute. This looks like a little dollhouse. Like it looks like a little Barbie dollhouse, doesn't it? Oh, oh, okay. Well, this is really neat. I love this. Apparently you can live in this big boat and then your sim can ride around in the little boat. How cool is that? Look at the girl sun tanning. Oh my gosh. So you guys, if this is something you're interested in, comment below. Let's share our excitement. Join that Discord server and leave all your suggestions. There's been so many cool suggestions. Oh my god, I'm so excited because since the game is in early development, you can suggest so many things that could actually end up being put in the game. So how cool is that? So anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Again, comment below if you're excited. Oh, and let's do our Fanticorn fam daily shout out. So two days, Fanticorn fam, shout out goes to Tiffany Nicole, and thank you so much. You're so sweet. You made me smile, and I'm so happy I'm your favorite simmer. You're literally so sweet, and your name, by the way, Tiffany is such a pretty name to me, so I love your name, and I'm so happy that I could make your day. So you guys, if you want a chance to be in a notification of Fanticorn fam, shout out, all you have to do is comment down below anything you want um, on any video, or you can just comment some unicorn emojis, and of course, turn your notifications on. I mean, I never say that, but I guess because it's a notification Fanticorn fam shout out, so I just never say that part. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, comment down below if you're excited for this game and definitely keep up with it if you are excited. Um, even if you don't have Twitter, you can still look at the Twitter page. You can go to the website. You can join the Discord server, everything like that. So I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much